Hello and welcome. Today we are going to have a lesson in flex, such as 1. What is flex? 2. Why does it flex? And 3. How can I capture my own flex? With me today is my friend and close colleague, the Smoke Reaper. He will be explaining and discussing and showing you what is flex. So without further delay, let's go to the Smoke Reaper and see what he has to say. Smoke? What's up guys, it's the Smoke Reaper. Today we're gonna have a little lesson, sort of like school. It's about flex. Now some of you might be asking me what flex is. What flex is, is a low frequency response from your bass which shakes your car. Now Smoke, we understand it shakes the car, but what else does it actually shake? Anything inside on the outside? Your windows, your doors, your lights, and your back. Now you went through that pretty fast. Could you maybe slow it down or at least show our viewers what all flexes on the car? Just give us a couple examples. Uh, we'd like to see that. Now those are all great examples of flex, but how is flex made and how does the camera actually pick up the flex? We would uh, like to know that as well, so if you could explain that in a little better detail, we'd appreciate that. What it is, is from the sound pressure levels, your camera can only pick up certain vibrations of speed. So when it vibrates, it looks like it's made of water, which is known as flex, base flex. Windows shake, everything shakes, flex. Your tires are shaking, flex. Everything's shaking. Your mirror, this little thing that bounces around, your smelly thing, all flex. That's good. Some of our viewers out there might want to capture their own flex. Do you have any tips for them on how to capture their own flex or what they can do? Or do you have any secrets you have that you, you know of that you can share with our viewers? And also, something I'd actually like to know is how much power do you really need to start flex? or even to have flex? Do you need to have a certain amount of amps? Do you need to have many subwoofers? So if you could explain that to me personally, I'd greatly appreciate that. Now I'm not the scientific type here, but there are different angles you can use to actually make your own flex. Well, not so much make it, but capture it. Don't matter the size of your system. When you hear rattling outside your car, half the time it's flex. Flex is all over the place with bass. Another a way I like to capture bass flex is the standard side angle, the vertical angle, top angle, down low, in crevices, close up, far away, and many other ways. Using these techniques, you yourself can capture your very own flex. It doesn't matter if you have a 500 watt system. You're going to have some flex elsewhere. You're going to find it and the best of ways, and you're going to have to use what you know to make it look like it's really flexing. Regardless of what people say, flex is possible with a small system. I've seen it done before, and I don't care what anyone says. Those are all great techniques, but unfortunately we are starting to run out of time, so if you have anything else you'd like to say to our viewers or any comments you want to make, uh, now would be the time. Uh, so far we've greatly appreciated your help and your demos and just all your techniques, so uh, if you have anything else you want to say, uh, please do so now. Me again. We learned a lot today about flex. You learned how to do your own flex, capture your flex, what flex is. Not the most scientific way of describing it, but shit. I can describe it any way I want, and in the base world, it'll make sense. So knowing what you know now, go out, try to capture your own flex, find out your own techniques, use different lenses, whatever you can. You can even use your camera, your cell phone camera, anything. It's flex. See? Everything captured on this video was done with a shitty BlackBerry Curve camera. Three megapixels. So, knowing what you know now, go out and try to make your own flex and post up your vids. I look forward to seeing it. Thank you for stopping in. This is the Smoke Reaper, and I'm out. That's all the time we have today. Again, thank you for tuning in. And again, thank you to the Smoke Reaper. I hope all you viewers out there learned a lesson in flex, and I hope you use it to your advantage. This is Dennis Potiger. Signing off. Good night.